back with Morian Art Center. It's now time to throw some clay. Which I gotta say is the first time I've actually heard that. <laughs> I'm now joined by Matt Sheeman, who's the manager of the Morian Center for Clay. Good morning, Matt. What are we doing here? Good morning. Uh, right now we are trying to center some clay so we can make a vase out of the clay that we have. Okay, and you know, you guys have been here talking about summer camps. Mm -hmm. You are a, a world-renowned artist, I hear, and a, one of the best in the world when it comes to pottery. But we're actually talking about summer camps. So you're mm -hmm. taking your skills and helping the little ones in the Tampa Bay area. Yeah, so we have a summer camp that happens. It starts, I believe, on Wednesday, so it should be today, and runs until August. Um, kind of the theme of the whole thing is that we have professional artists that are teaching the courses. So it's going to be myself and a few other uh, artists that are uh, in the field working and you know trying to teach these kids how to make possibly a living at this if they decide they want to go that route. Okay, I'm impressed. I mean, I, normally I can talk and, uh, and pay attention, but I was going to say I'm kind of uh, quiet here because this is impressive what you're doing already. What are you, you creating for us? Uh, right now I'm making a cylinder, and the cylinder we will start to shape and make into an actual vase. See, I was going to take a stab at this, but I mean, when you've got someone this talented here, why see me just make like a, a blob? I mean, how difficult is this, especially for the, the kids that we're talking about with these summer camps? The kids catch on pretty quick. I mean, they have a, a week of doing this, so it's a pretty, you know, intensive time that they're working pretty much the whole time uh, learning how to do these these skills and all that. So, you know, they catch on pretty quick, I think. And getting to make wonderful things, but also in a wonderful place. I mean, you have a pretty fabulous studio. Tell us about that. Uh, it's an old train station. It was built, I believe, in 1926, and it's been renovated. So it's, it's a big building. I think something like 60,000 square feet, and it's all, all just clay in there. So wow. we have membership studios, we have artists in residence, we teach classes. So it's a it's a pretty cool place. And you know, we've been talking a lot about the kids, but also what about an adult? I mean, this would be, a, I would love to know how to do this. Yeah, we teach adult classes as well too. And you know, when this comes to the summer camp, I'm, you're talking about how to build this, but it also you guys go more in depth with the actual training and, and educate these kids more in the summer camp than just learning how to make something, right? Right, I mean, especially when it comes to the teens and all that, we're, we're trying to talk about actual uh, how to create art and all that. So it's not just, you know, trying to make little trinkets to take home. We're trying to actually talk about things like line and texture and form, space values, all these things that you would start to learn in high school and learn in colleges and all that. And I was gonna say, speaking of learning things, okay, how does this not just tip over? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm just sitting here watching, is it just, and I was gonna say, I don't know if you can see really at home the whole wheel. I mean, you're, you're controlling this with a pedal, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I got a pedal down here. It's just, it just acts like a, a car. So essentially the further down I push it, the faster it starts to move and go. Well, obviously this was done very quick, but I know there's gotta be a, another step to actually seal it and things. What, what Talk about the process and even the process that, that kids would be able to learn about. Uh, they'll go through the entire process for the kids. So we'll start off on the wheel just like this. In about three days, they'll be able to make a piece that's about this size, maybe a little bit oh, wow. you know, right around that range. And then we uh, bisque them. So we take them through the first firing, which makes it into ceramic. And then from there, we do a process called called rat coup where it goes into a kiln, goes up to about 2,000 degrees or so in about 15 minutes and then we pull them out while they're really, really hot and put them in some barrels with combustion so there's all this fire and it's real exciting and they get all these dramatic colors and everything to come out of it and they get to participate in that whole process. I was going to say and they mm -hmm. probably get to see what it is from start to finish, yep. which in itself is educational. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow, this is really impressive. I was like, so are we almost done here? Or what's, what is, uh, I'll say, uh, got, are you a perfectionist that can continue yeah, to keep I would, working? Yeah, I would work on this for a while <laughs> still. I can tell, I can tell. Well, if you are interested in any of their art classes, morianartcenter.org for more information. Thank you so much, Matt. Yeah, this is very you. impressive. 